F-15s! Alright, mission is active. Alright, loading in. So here we're gonna follow some terrain today. Indeed we are, automatically. Ooh. <laughs> Dope. Well, my butt kicker isn't turned on. Must be a fucking day that ends in Y. I can't wait till we're like 70 when just tech works. It'll be nice, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Who are we kidding now? The world will be over by the time we're 70. Yeah, probably. I saw a animated documentary about that in my youth. <laughs> okay. Okay. So here's the earth. Right, right, and drop. Dope, starting left. All right, looks like we're aligned. Yep, we're in nav, or er, GPS, or er, la INS is in nav. Okay. I can words. And it's a right and a left, correct? Uh, a firm. Just two dudes in the rain. It is quite moist out. Moist. Make sure you guys subscribe for more moist F-15 videos. It's real hot. We keep that shit damp. I like my F-15s like I like my towelettes. Moist. <laughs> hey, hey, boy. Hey, hey, boy. All right, flaps extended, canopy closed and locked. Go ahead and give me a control check. Yeah, hey, hey, boy. Good left. Good right. We, uh... All right, green on mine. Dope. <clears throat> it's lights out and away we go! As you're well aware, it is up and then a left-hander. Ah, uh, just like Sao Paulo. Almost the same altitude change, too. Cares up, flaps are up. Uh, climb 5,000, left hand turn to steer point one. Alright, you want to get uh, turn following radar enabled for me? Alright, it is on. Alright. And you're good to go ahead and take a right-hand turn. And I've hit TF on my right DDI. Commanded steer point two. All right, so uh, on your TFR display, across the bottom you have just the five different modes. Normal, uh, ECCM is for countering electronic countermeasures. WX1 is weather one. There's also a WX2 behind that if you need more. Um, that is just less sensitive, so clouds and shit won't interfere with the signal. Oh, okay. LPI is low probability of intercept. That is less radar emissions going out uh, to not give away your position. VLC, I think, is very low course or something along those lines. Uh, across the top, you have the different altitudes it's commanding. So if you have a box on your HUD, you're going to want to fly that for now. And that is it guiding you how to fly uh, a thousand feet right now is the current setting. Thicker jagged band you see is the actual raw radar returns. That's what the ground looks like to the radar. Above that, that curved line is the path it would fly to stay above the ground as needed without exceeding the flight parameters. So flight parameters is a 2G pull up at most and a 0.9G push over at most. So gotcha. it will guide you to fly a path to not exceed those and not hit the ground. And then you have a horizontal line. That's kind of where you'll go currently. And then the last curved line is... Um, I don't know exactly how it's calculated, but if that makes it all the way down to the other line, that means you're driving into the ground. Ooh. So that's what happens if you get really low. Yeah. Uh, you may have gotten an auto fly up there. You would paddle that off. And then on your HUD, you're going to have carrots on your roll indicator. That is, uh, you can't exceed those for more than two seconds or it will do a auto fly up maneuver. Gotcha. So right now, if you want, you can actually couple the uh, TFR. 
Okay. And then if you paddle once it's coupled, it should put it in full autopilot. And I'm also going to put on nav autopilot for you. Okay. So the couple, it should be just in front of the throttle. Yeah, I have a switch bound for that. There we go. All right. So now that box on your HUD is two lines. It's very similar to how uh, like an ILS system works. Okay. So basically, it will try and ride those lines with the flight path indicator. Whereas if you're flying it manually, the box is um, kind of a, a safe margin. So at any point, if you need, you can paddle off. Uh, you might need to hold it so it doesn't re-engage. But if you say you wanted to sharply turn onto a steer point, you would just paddle off the terrain following radar and autopilot and do that. Ah, okay. That's neat. All right, so I just put in the nav. It's fully coupled now, the autopilot. So it's both terrain following and uh, waypoints. That's wild, dude. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's pretty insane. You could fly this with your eyes shut, although that's even more yeah. terrifying than the weather. Um, I like how we're, you know, going through a storm through the goddamn mountains. <laughs> yeah. So in WX1 and LPI, uh, you only have 500 foot and 1,000 foot options. Like I said, because they are less sensitive, it's much less able to protect itself. No, so ECCM gives you the full normal settings as well, 200 to 1,000. Oh. And uh, <laughs> if, we, if we go VLC, I can actually take us down to 100 foot. Oh my word. And... <laughs> You're in the, uh, I want to say like 80s, maybe early 90s before night vision goggles really were commonplace for military aviation. Uh, this and the nav flare pretty much made it possible for the F-15 to do its job. That's wild, dude. And, you know, really set it apart for that long distance interdiction. Oh. And being this low really demonstrates all seven pixels of these, or uh, polys of these <laughs> mountains. Right. <laughs> all right, we're starting to approach the edge of the mountains on the hostile side. Let's master arm on. Master arm is on. It's not often you get to play chicken with your own vehicle. <laughs> lower. A lot lower. Too low. Lower. That's a cool tower. Yeah. It's like, it's like a dunce cap on top of an air traffic <laughs> right? control tower. We're about a minute out from the turn. Um, at this turn, I'm going to punch in 500, but you're probably going to want to fly manually. Okay. All right, go ahead and turn. Steer point is selected, so that's what you're going for. There you go. That's about on. All right, we're about 30 miles out, 27. From a uh, target or from uh From target, yeah. Okay. Azimuth looks good. Do you want air to ground mode? Token. Yeah, air to ground. Air to ground. Auto ripple single quantity 12 interval 450. 12 times BLU 107 Anderls. All right, designated. You're going to need to come right a bit. All right, tell me when. And you should be okay to just go straight at the designation. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That'll work. Holding pickle. Clean away. Felt perfect in the backseat. Yeah, felt good for me. 
my booty was shaking. Oh, hello, mountain. Hello, other side of the mountain. Ooh. Goodbye. Imagine you're just driving through these mountains. Just, just and taking your sheep <laughs> on a walk. Then just all of a sudden, <laughs> freaking F-15 just rips overhead. Shame it won't let you fly supersonic while in uh, I know, TFR. Right? Now, I refuse to believe that a road in this area would have that many streetlights. <laughs> right? <laughs> There's no way. That's quite the investment for a village of 300 people. Well, surely that's the only case of them, and there's not another road that's about to have a bo- Oh, hey, look! Oh! Look, we had one guy crash into a tree because he couldn't see at night 46 years ago. <laughs> we will guy. not let that happen again. One guy was just driving along, and then an F-15 just ripped overhead, and he was so stunned by it and staring at the sky, he drove off the road and went over a mountain, so... We gotta make sure that doesn't happen again. So instead of increasing our defense spending, we're just putting up a lot of streetlights. All right, well, we're on our return leg now, so if you want to manually fly it, you can pop out of uh, TF and take some altitude. Um. Mm -hmm. So apparently that was enough negative G's to kill the engine. Nice. Okay. Well, you supposedly know how to restart them. Let's see it. All right. Fingers. We're going to do one engine at a time this time. Yeah, I think uh, that's a good call. Green light. I see you rolling. It's rolling. There we go. There we go. Time's climbing. Nice. All right, ramp dropped. Cool. All right, starting up the left. I'm taking steer point straight to base plate as well. Okay. We got two running engines. Go into the F2 view and look uh, about our seven o'clock. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, that is the runway. We are on the wrong side, though. So let's go ahead and go around. All right, that should be good. Or way too low, but you know. Any landing you can walk away from. You know, 800 feet per second isn't that bad. No. They, I mean, they tell you 500 normally, so. We're uh, Navy, right? Yeah. Well, that was about as clean as they get, other than the one almost driving into the ground when we didn't have coupled mode on yet. Yeah. Which was handled like an expert. I mean, I was uh, kind of not paying attention until the very last second, but I got us off the uh... Almost like that's why there's a warning. Yeah park this thing like people park jeeps flawless come on what was that red smoke i don't know we don't have a nose cone anymore but all right we got yeah but i can again. tell you that's a radiation hazard this is going to be hilarious to watch on the replay. Ah, uh, grass is too tall to get out here. My uh, zero zero didn't really kick in on time. <laughs> I'm not sure that's accurately modeled. You have very lifeless eyes. Yeah, I know. My character does too. <laughs> I mean, that was a pretty successful mission. I would agree. This is no joke. What he actually looks like in real life. That's him. That's his. Mo they modeled this pilot 
after Brian. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, leave a mean comment. Uh, subscribe, please. I'm so close to a thousand. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.